yesterday we did some transactions like more order more order transaction okay let us see we received we received some items miscellaneous transaction after that we could see the on hand quantity increase and let us see now see if you go for items setup there are items status codes see these are very important these are status codes we will be defining approved means the moment what was the item you receive that item is having approved status then definitely can that can be used active that means it is approved and it is made active okay now inactive means nobody can use that item if you assign this status to any item if you make any item with a status of inactive that item cannot be used in any transaction non stock means even though item is item you are receiving non stock means it's not stockable when you are when it is not stockable item quantity can cannot be used item quantity cannot be visible right so and these are like pending all functions disable pending means somebody has to confirm somebody has to make it approved from pending to approved and approved to active active you will be making this kind of statuses how will you assign the status to item do you know that yesterday we received some item right let us see yesterday i received this item i think right yesterday i received this item let us see let us go to on hand quantity i received 10000 items have you remembered by doing miscellaneous transaction let us check for the quantity in in booster okay i did then this is the item let us find the quantity no quantity okay we didn't receive this item then which item we received probably this item i don't know which item i received can do one thing okay which item i have performed the transactions i can find out like this go to transactions yesterday i did i did some transactions right so i can find out this is this is how you can utilize the application to see what are the transaction i have done yesterday so i have done some metal transaction i received by performing by performing miscellaneous receipt miscellaneous transaction let us go to miscellaneous transaction now clear and yesterday yesterday's date is 14th let us select this i did some transaction what is the transaction type you know that i did miscellaneous transaction i am you remembered i performed miscellaneous receipt yesterday let us find out see i did transaction for this item copy how much items uh, how many items like 10000 items so let us take this item as this is the item i received 10000 right now just okay now this is the item i received yesterday 10000 quantity now let us take this item i am checking on hand quantity right now on hand availability you have to go to clear make sure that what of the form is having you know whenever the form is having clear button you have to click clear so that any field which is having some unnecessary values that will be cleared out so that what of the result you what of the field you want to enter only that field will be considered and you will get the exact outputs otherwise what happens if you if you are not clearing sometimes you won't get any output make sure any form whenever you could see that 
there is a clear button make sure you are clicking on that and you are clearing that form see i got this item see 10000 items in which we we utilize some items right those items have been decreased because you transferred from one subunit to another subunit have you remember yesterday we did subunit transfer as well or move order transfer we did move order transfer from one sub inventory to another sub inventory we did from mixing to i did transaction to wip i think so yesterday we did so that was the reason that quantity has been reduced 104 quantity has been i think 104 quantity has been uh, transferred i think so now for this quantity if you enlarge this form okay now if you drag it to right hand side slowly somewhere you can see the status okay here okay now if you go to tools there is a status update if you expand this organizations this is the organization on hand mixing sub inventory and we have mixing locator in which we have this is the item and this item see when you go to that particular item you can update the status see when you update the status like if you click on that then you are able to see all these statuses whatever you defined in the system this is what these are descriptions you know there we have code and description you could see here only description okay now so this is what if you make it active then all the quantities if you make it you know no reservations no reservations not atp not netable only reservation all these things you know these are all status descriptions if you select other than active anything else then what happens you know if you click on availability this quantity becomes zero of course you will you will be having on hand quantity total quantity as 10000 but still available to reserve will be reduced to zero why i told you right you you are making inactive or you are making some non reservable kind of you know deactivating deactivating by disabling disabling by selecting some of the statuses other than active or approved so then that was the reason yesterday or day before yesterday when we were discussing for some of the items it was showing on hand quantity some some quantity but available to reserve is zero the purpose of that is this is the one if you get any problem like whenever you get some quantity and having zero quantity here then what happens you know you can go to here tools status update the status will be something else other than active then only thing is if it is this then you have to make it active then click ok that's it then you will get the quantity in the available quantity that's what you have to do here you will get the quantity this is very important point okay now yesterday we could see move order transfer now today let us see again move orders yesterday we prepared move order right some number will be generated requirement for requirement for maintenance okay maintenance department And transaction type is yesterday we performed move order transfer if you want me to do again we can do but you practice okay because already the class has been recorded and you can if you have any doubt you can visit that class and you can listen that video see the video watch the video then do the perform the transaction today let us see more order issue what is more order issue let us see 
and when you perform word issue there is a source sub inventory and destination sub inventory has been disabled have you observed yesterday's transaction yesterday we performed move order transfer where the source sub inventory has been enabled at the same time destination sub inventory also has been enabled but today why it has been disabled because the transaction type is issue if you change it to transfer observe see both the fields are enabled why you know move order transfer means you are requesting to the store to transfer the material from the main sub inventory to the one particular sub inventory means production guys production guys sub inventory is wip and you are request production guys are requesting to transfer the material from main store that can be a mixing from mixing to wip source sub inventory is mixing and destination sub inventory is wip but today we are performing move order issue so you can select move order issue when you select move order issue source sub inventory is required but you are requesting how can you know that from which sub inventory the item should be picked you don't know so it is you are least bothered about source because it is the duty of storekeeper from where he is picking and he is transferring the item to your required area your required area is your required sub inventory your area is nothing but your your sub inventory now the item let us take the item okay our item is this is the item i want this item for maintenance department because let us say i am from maintenance department i am raising this request request is nothing but move order i have to raise the move order move uh, raising a request is nothing but preparing the move order i raise the move order this is the move order number i can track by taking the move order number before that you have to enter all the mandatory fields otherwise it won't let you to move from this area let us see item has been selected transaction type is move order issue which has been defaulted from the top that is called header this is called lines now required date today's date it is unit of measure how many yards you would require this item see in case you don't want yards you can see the list of values here you can select any of these unit of measures because one item can be having multiple unit of measures for example let us say somebody says 12 number of apples they might have kept on the table somebody says 12 numbers 12 each is that means numbers also unit of measure to measure the apples each is each is also the unit of measure to measure the apples now somebody says dozen how many dozens are there one dozen is that one dozen equal to 12 number so any unit of measure it's up to you but the count is same that means there is a conversion between different unit of measures and but representing the same count okay so that is the reason if you have let us say you want 10 meters if somebody wants kilometer in kilometers 10 meters equal to how many kilometer 10 by 1000 is the kilometers right 10 by 1000 is nothing but 0.01 kilometer either you give 2 meters or 0.01 kilometers both are same but unit of measures are different kilometer measured for you know used for measuring the distance meter also a length but 1000 meters equal to 1 kilometer is the unit of measure conversion that is how you can have secondary unit of measure primary unit of measure tertiary like you can have uh, multiple unit of measures okay now i want yards i want yards how much point let us say i want a quantity of yeah i want a quantity of let us say one thirty. 
113 yards. See, this sub inventory is not destination sub inventory. Destination sub inventory has been disabled. Only source sub inventory you are having access. When you have source sub inventory, so that's what you didn't enter here because you don't know. You're requester. I am requester because I am from maintenance department. I want certain item. This is the item I want. I am requesting. But from where you have to pick? You cannot suggest. You can't suggest to a storekeeper. Storekeeper aware of what item existing at what place. So it is his duty to select the item from certain sub inventory. It is the business of storekeeper, not mine. So I, I am a requester. Simply I want this item, how much quantity? That is my concern. Okay. But you are saying that when you select move order issue, you cannot say I want. Why? Because move order issue means item is going out. Move order transfer means you are transferring from main sub inventory, main store to your store. If you are from production, production store is nothing but WIP, a sub inventory named as sub WIP, work in process sub inventory. If you want set an item at WIP, then you can get the item from main store to WIP. That is called move order transfer. Whereas move order issue is you are requesting to the store guy to issue the material from anywhere. That's up to the storekeeper. From where you are picking, that is your duty. I don't know from where you are picking, but I want certain items to be issued to outside. Means it is going out of organization. Means item when it is going out of organization, item quantity to be reduced. Right? It is very simple. Total building, you know, business analyst building is having three floors or four floors. Then you are transferring the item from first floor to second floor. Item is still existing in the building, right? It is simple. Building is in warehouse. Warehouse is nothing but inventory organization. Whether you transfer from ground floor to first floor, first floor to second floor, second floor to third floor, item is existing in the building. But more order issue, you are asking the storekeeper that is he, who is there at ground floor to issue the material of 113 items to outside. Means it is going out of the building, right? So total quantity will be reduced. In more order transfer, the quantity will not be reduced. Move order issue, quantity will be reduced. That is the main difference between move order transfer and move order issue. Now, when item is going out, move order transfer, item is moving between the sub inventories from ground floor to first floor, first floor to second floor or third floor. But item is still existing in the warehouse. Right? There is no value change. Why? Every item is having a value, right? That value multiplied by the quantity that you issued, that you transferred. How much value has been transferred from first floor to second floor? If you would have transferred 10 bearings, so let us say, each bearing $100, let us say, for example. 10, in, 10 multiplied by 100, 1000, $1,000 worth of items have been transferred. Means we have reduced it from first floor and transferred to second floor. But still, the value is existing in inventory, warehouse. So there is no change in value. But issue, you are transferring the item, you are issuing the material to outside, means item is going out of any of the floor, any of the floors. So that means value is getting decreased. When value is getting decreased, entire warehouse is having an account. What is that account? That account is maintaining all the values of items. If I'm giving salary to you, you are having an account, right? In that account, I am putting the salary. Then you are withdrawing. In regular intervals, whenever you want something, you will, you will withdraw. But still, the account is maintaining all the money. Similarly, all the items, including including all the items, there is a there is a value. What is the worth of items? That much value is there in the inventory. Means inventory represented by inventory account. What is that account? That account is nothing but inventory material account. It can be finished good item, it can be raw material item, it can be a consumable item, it can be a spare parts item, it can be serviceable item, it can be warranty items or whatever, whatever it may be. But every item which is existing in the inventory comes under inventory material account. 
it's very simple whoever transfers the money the money goes to your account only right your not only your company somebody your parents are putting some money into your account where it is going the sources can be different but you are receiving right similarly here also item is item is coming from different suppliers from anywhere but it is coming to inventory end of the day it is coming to one account only that account is nothing but inventory material account but now you are asking you are requesting because you are raising move order move order is nothing but a request to the store move order issue is nothing but you are requesting to issue the material from inventory to outside okay now so which account system knows by default if you are giving the item from your inventory to outside item is getting reduced from your inventory right definitely the minus value has gone to your warehouse inventory material account but system doesn't know which is having positive effect oracle entries are double effects you know when there is a credit there should be a debit if there is no debit your transaction is wrong means what it's very simple if you are taking the amount if you are withdrawing the amount from your atm machine the moment you take out the money a message comes to your mobile saying that so and so amount has been debited because from bank point of view it is debit from your point of view it is credit simple so always i told you right this system you are using if i am doing i am raising a request it means system is mine i am the first person so i will talk like you know talk like a bank like i will debit or credit but the second person will talk in reverse if you it is debit for you then credit for him so atm that is from bank bank in say bank is saying so and so amount has been credited or sorry debited that means that is a credit for you so in the system i know from where i am taking this item i am requesting this item to issue the item from store to outside that means store is getting negative value right item is going out that means negative whenever negative is there we we use it to call as credit 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 means negative a debit means positive we know credit account you tell me positive account which account is having a positive impact which account is having a negative impact in this transaction we know that inventory material account is going to have a negative entry why item is going out from where from your inventory so inventory is having a negative so what is the worth negative 1000 but plus 1000 should be somewhere that somewhere is nothing but this account because system doesn't know which account you are debiting which account you are crediting system knows only credit account because item is going out from inventory and inventory material account is nothing but having a inventory material account is going to have a negative impact at the same time which account is going to have a positive impact that's what system would require so this here the account whatever the account you are entering that is nothing but debit account to where you are issuing here see i told you chart of account is nothing but a combination of different segments different segments why am i why am repeating all the time like chart of account when all you know i will be repeating for 3 to 4 classes only after fourth class i will not be repeating simply i will go ahead i will select the account that's it you have to understand what is chart of account i already told you chart of account is nothing but combination of different segments and each segment indicates some entity and entity is nothing but some company or department or account or product class inter company future future meant for future reference right now they are not using the seventh one or sixth one that is the reason it is having a value of 0000 fifth one sixth one whenever they want to use sixth one they can use but company every company will be having a code so see this is the code this is the for another company this is for another branch this is for another company okay now then department every company will be having different departments what are the departments these are the departments how many departments each number when you select the number you know every number forms all the numbers together six numbers together form one number i told you for example your mobile number is nothing but 
combination of different numbers. Your mobile number is nothing but 0091, which is meant for country. Then you are having a 10 digit number 916001615. And 01615, two numbers. The first one representing network, the next one is customer ID. All together, which is having 14 digit number. Similarly, your bank account. The first three digits indicates branch. Your ICIC bank account number 0081 something. 12 digit number is there. The first three digit branch. Next so two, di two digits. What kind of account it is? Is it saving account, current account, demat account, loan account, car loan, home loan, personal loan, credit card? This is how they track. The, the moment you tell the number, they will tell you what kind of account you are having. So that is the importance of chart of account. Okay, here I want the, you know, all the chart of accounts will be defined in the system as a part of finance. In the GLs, general ledgers. I told you, ledger is going to decide. If the structure is seven digits, whatever the accounts you are having seven digits, all these are coming on one ledger. If somebody says, my ledger should have eight, eight segments. Yes, you are going to have second ledger. Third ledger. Like that, you can have n number of ledgers, but maximum nowadays the only company which is using most number of segments is G. 13 segments it is using. If it is 6 means a medium scale. If it is having 7 segments, large scale. See, G is having 13 segments. Remember what kind of business there that is doing. Vast business, you know, that is very big. That is the only company which is using 13 segments in the world. Okay, now. So I want all the, account, all the accounts are existing already. How to find out? Simply clear first. I did something right. So I cleared. Now go to combinations. Don't go to combinations. You want the existing combinations, then percentage, click OK. That's it. It will give all the account combinations. These are all account combinations. How many are there? Can you see that in the down, you have 4,420 combinations are there. Select anything. I want this. Okay. But anything you're selecting for my purpose of transaction is giving the account number. But in real time, you have to select one account only. You know that what is the right combination. Somebody says this account is correct. You have to select this only. But right now, anything can be correct because this is for practice purpose. Okay. So of course, reach is real time system. It is these are all real time data. Okay, now select account has been entered. Okay, if you open this, it will show you. See, this is CMA Corporation and having computer equipment account, and this is product class as Bristol and enter company as this, this and future use. That's it. This is how you are having. Okay, now. I entered all the things. I have to take this more number to the notepad. For this item, I did more order as this. Now, save it. Then you have to approve. If you are not approving, the status is incomplete. You cannot do anything. You have to approve. Approved. Changed. Now, you have to print the report, right? Because you are requester. You are requesting to issue the material to outside. So I want a print. How to run the report? Go to tool, go to view, request. I told you yesterday. What is the report name? Move order pick slip. Click OK. Search the report name. Move order pick slip. How to search? After percentage, enter move, then percentage, enter. So this will find the one the report name which is having move as a word between or anywhere so see in this also move is there in this also move move everywhere so that is the reason it is sorting out all the results which is having which are having move as a word then as a part of sentence okay now more pick slip is the report select and more number i know that Mode from and to I want only one print in case you have 10 move orders and you want to print at a time yes you can 
from n2 you have to give 10 numbers the first number and 10th 10th number you have to give so that all the move order numbers will be considered that's it i want print click ok submit submit another request no i don't want only one is enough find refresh once completed see the output print it take the signature and send it to store guy now it is what is what's happening this is the soft copy you know once you open this once it is completed open this and this is a soft copy it will be opened here internet explorer this is the report okay now what happens you know nowadays what, what is the trend this will be saved on the desktop and it will be given with a name then you compose an email keeping your C, keeping your manager as a cc in cc then you compose two as a storekeeper boss i am raising a request you please issue the material to outside okay which location you can select in the move order there is a location also you can write it okay which location yes yeah see destination so we need to locate or whatever it may be if you want to transfer to somewhere you can write something and you can signate you can have a signature and my request uh, request name and quantity to be picked and everything destination account you have to put the value into this account that's it everything will be approved and will be signed and will be this will be scanned out the signature copy will be scanned out and after that that scanned copy will be sent to store guy by composing an email attach the soft copy keeping your manager in cc that's it over then he gets the email based on the email it he comes to know what is the move order number now he goes to application storekeeper now till now i worked as maintenance requester now move order has been created inventory guy the storekeeper will go to move orders he will open transact move order not move orders okay so it, it he will go to transact move order i know the move order number so enter the move order number press tab only one move order in case you want to transfer at a time 10 numbers which are in the sequence first number and last number you have to find out okay now this is the result we got it select allocate what is allocation you know it is a very important question what is allocation allocation is nothing but reservation you are reserving against this particular request that's it allocate after allocation again you have to select the line done select now it has been disabled yesterday i told you it is reservation it reservation is done already so no more reservation is required for this item already reserved so let us go to view update allocations from where it has been allocated from which sub inventory mixing is having the items how many items these many items are there available so it has been picked from this particular locator how much quantity 113 then save it then over that's it okay then that means what happened quantity might have reduced if you see the online quantity for this item now quantity might have reduced let us see the online quantity earlier it was 9000 something right now let us say on hand quantity for the item this is the item fine availability see quantity has been reduced earlier it was 9800 and something now it has been reduced 113 has been reduced okay so item has gone out so this is how like when item has gone out the quantity will be reduced you can still see like let us say if you enlarge When you have various management, you have additional functions that is not required for you right now because it is having various management. That is the reason we have pack, pack and unloaded, LPN context and all these things will be there. Okay, extra information. Don't be confused. When you have various management, you have additional steps to be performed because various management, there is a third party system again here in this 
company in this client we have telnet telnet is the system third party tool then basically what happens you know in warehouse what happens you have barcode machines you, they use it to have some air and machines those hand machines are called and guns okay so basically what happens they scan it and they have the barcode and they scan it and they will get the details and they will uh, maintain the store that is the that handset also will be linked to oracle application so basically that is nothing but telnet machine and that will be having a, a separate da database and there are some interfaces technically if somebody you knows who is the, what is the tech what is the interface interface means it's a kind of mediator between oracle application and the telnet system here telnet system is a warehouse system and where they are performing some barcode scanning and whatever the item you are receiving and you are getting the information of the item through barcode and after that and from that information will be stored and through the interface of that inter that information will be passed to oracle application and whatever the data you have done you know you perform some actions in oracle applications and that data again again it will go to the telnet again so to and fro the transactions update uh, transaction updates interface updates will happen so then only it will make sure it will make sure that all the information is all the information is uh, you know uh, shared perfectly and timely updated now if you go to here like this is it if you see the status update i told you already initially we discussed the same thing right now we have mass issue what is the mass issue you know which account let us take i will tell you some account you take okay click ok see when you did mass issue more requisition has been created have you observed you got a notation uh, you got a note take this more number let us see this is one and the more number is five double two seven five seven okay now click ok see you can create move order simply we are doing mass issue okay that is move order issue and it has created system has automatically created how much you want to issue for this item how much quantity you want to issue all the quantities mass issue means it's called bulk transfer there are some kind of transactions like Whatever the transaction we have done, move order issue, yesterday we did move order transfer, specific quantity has been transferred from first floor to second floor or first sub inventory to second sub inventory. And just now we did move order issue there, we issued 113 items to outside. Mass issue is nothing but you, are, you want to reduce quantity to zero. Yes, we can do that. 10,000 quantity becomes zero. But you want to transfer. You want to vacate first floor and you have to fill the second floor simply first floor and second floor are two sub inventories in the system so you can transfer you can change the transaction type as move order transfer simply and you vacate what are the item quantity existing in one particular sub inventory to another sub inventory that's it you can perform you have to select from sub inventory where we have the 10,000 quantity or 9,000 quantity destination sub inventory can be second floor or fourth fourth floor or sub inventory you where you want to transfer you have to select then select respective item um, quantity bulk quantity 10 9,000 8,000 or whatever it may be then approve it so this request will be generated you can do this is the simple transaction kind of you no know, okay then we have tools it is mass issue mass move means that's what i discussed just now move order transfer so i want to issue to which floor this is a kind of sub inventory i know 10000 quantities are there out of which we have 9000 items in the mixing and some items are there in wip sub inventory we know that 
and you want to vacate mixing sub inventory you want to vacate first floor so that you can fulfill third floor simply to which sub inventory you want to transfer third floor you have to select third floor third floor name can be that is the sub inventory name you have to select then the moment you select let us say i would like to select wip to i want to issue the material i want to transfer the material from main sub inventory to wip store click ok it will create you know more order requisition has been created this time eight okay more order number is five two two seven five eight okay now click ok then more order will be created but with this time transfer will be happening see that is mass issue this is mass transfer that you have to remember this is called bulk transfer bulk transfer is nothing but sub inventory transfer what is the difference between move order transfer and sub inventory transfer now you should be able to answer i told you i can transfer the material from first floor to third floor that is sub inventory transfer then what is move order transfer even move order transfer also you are transferring the material from first floor to second floor or second floor to third floor and this can be sub inventory transfer then what is the difference between sub inventory transfer and move order transfer? Why are you having two names? It's very simple. Sub inventory transfer, you are transferring the material from one sub inventory to another sub inventory. But nobody is requesting. You are doing, you are going to on hand quantity, you are doing the transfer. Issue uh, transfer the material from one sub inventory to another sub inventory, but more is nothing but request to the store. Somebody raises a request, somebody is asking to transfer the material from here to here. When there is a request that is called move order transfer, when there is no request that is a bulk transfer that is called sub inventory transfer, it's very simple and it's a very important question as a part of interview. What is move order transfer and what is sub inventory transfer? What is the difference between move order transfer and sub inventory transfer? I hope you are clear. That's it. Move order concept is over. Now, yesterday we discussed miscellaneous transaction also. I did yesterday one transaction that is miscellaneous transaction by performing miscellaneous receipt. Okay, that miscellaneous receipt, we have gone to miscellaneous transaction. We did from the transaction type, you selected. We have all these transaction types, you know. This is very important question. What are the transaction types from inventory? You can tell all these, but you can remember some only. Basically, you can answer like miscellaneous issue, miscellaneous receipt, account alias issue, account alias receipt, sub inventory transfer or move order transfer or whatever it may be these are all transaction types move order issue wip issue sales order issue purchase receiving you know po receiving po receipt these are these are all transaction types available in inventory to receive the item into the store Okay, slowly you will come to know what is sales order issue what is purchase receiving and all wip issue and these things you will come to know when you are thorough with the sales process procure to pay cycle order to cash cycle and make to order scenario but right now we are we are learning the basics of inventory now miscellaneous transaction yesterday we did miscellaneous receipt if you type m starting with before percentage if you type m then all will be ordered sorted out sorted out by m letter miscellaneous receipt i want then transaction lines select your item i have one item here okay i want to select this item this time this item i want to receive zero quantity is there see available zero any sub inventory when i didn't enter any sub inventory still it is giving available zero means in any sub inventory there is no quantity so total quantity is zero when i select the sub inventory i want to receive so to which sub inventory i want to receive i want to receive it to oh sorry mixing i want to mixing i want to receive it to mixing sub inventory with a locator of combinations 
then go to percentage this is the locator I want to receive it now what else how much quantity how many yards you want to receive the unit basic unit of measure is yards but I want to receive around um, 13,000 13, okay I am receiving right from where you are receiving machinery receipt means somebody is giving you a receiving somebody we are not tracking in the system okay because whenever you are getting the item you should be either through manufacturing or through supplier when there is a supplier there should be people because we don't know what is purchasing process right now we are not discussing purchasing actually you are supposed to receive by purchase the by purchasing the item means you are supposed to purchase the item from supplier and supplier sends the goods and you have to receive against your purchase order that has been raised to the supplier so right now i don't know the purchasing process so this is the shortcut to receive the item into the sub inventory sorry inventory now but whenever you are getting the item your inventory account is going to be increased right system knows which account is getting increased i know inventory inventory material account is getting increased but which account is credited that you don't know so that you have to enter because system that you don't know means system doesn't know when system doesn't know we have to suggest what is that account you have to enter this this account is nothing but the account which is getting credited debit means inventory material you are putting the value in the you are depositing so i told you atm transaction you remember when you when your salary has been credited deposited that is credit credit oracle trans oracle terminology just reverse when you say credit in the ATM transaction, in your Oracle, you have to say debit. When you say debit in the ATM transaction, that time, in Oracle, you have to say credit. It is just reverse. It is the thumb rule. It is, you have to remember. Everybody knows, you will be getting a salary. And whenever the first or last month, month end, you use it to get a salary, right? The moment salary has been debited, or salary has been deposited, you will get a message. What kind of message? salary account salary has been credited means i told you right if that is credit let us put in in oracle we have to call it as debit means whenever you are increasing that should be debit in oracle but atm transaction your account value has been increased from your point of view it is just credit okay so which account combinations you have to go to percentage click okay any account in actually one account will be selected that account this account is going to have a which account like uh, we are receiving the item means the item is going to be increased quantity quantity is increased means value is getting increased value is getting increased means there is an account which is meant for materials and that account is getting positive value right so which account is getting inventory material account is debited so at the same time the same value will be having a credit credit also where that system doesn't know you have to give that value see this item is serial controlled item now if you save it it will go it will ask you what is the serial what is the lot control it is serial control or lot control number see see there is a message the item is lot and serial controlled item quantity does not match the transaction quantity why because you entered the quantity as 13,000 but you didn't enter lot quantity as 13,000 let us see lot there is a button this button will be enabled in case the item is lot control how do you enable this in the item master if you enable lot control that's it it will be enabled in organization item you disable this will be disabled that's it okay it depends upon item master that you defined so lot number is i am receiving today today's date i want so the date is may 15th for us till it is 15th only okay and the quantity is 13,000 quantity that's it done over now save it done okay now let us see online quantity for which item this is the item right this is the item fine this is the quantity I told you this is zero why it depends upon status again okay so that's what you have to remember 
whenever you are having all this mixing and all those things this is the lot you know this lot will be having a status you know go to tools go to tools status here we have if it is active you have to make it active reason yes some reason you enter you are making active because it is okay something okay enter lot status approved yeah reason okay update status changed okay now close it let us see this is how you have to change the status then only it will be visible in, as a quantity available else it is not available that's it have you got it so this is very important class so next class onwards we will be going forward and i hope you understood and we have a couple of transactions like we just saw the miscellaneous transaction miscellaneous receipt we have miscellaneous issue we have account alias receipt account alias issue cycle counting physical accounting sub unit returns we have already seen more order transfer we have seen more order issue we have seen so apart from that we have item definition we did and planning you know mean max planning then cycle counting is very important so we'll be going forward okay see you on the next class uh, that's it for today